Hello, Jodie here from Jolly Natural Skincare, and today I was going to apply a aloe vera gel mask whilst talking to you about the benefits of the gel mask and the type of things that it can heal and fix. So number one, pimples, wounds, anything where you've got something that you need to heal. An aloe vera mask is perfect because it has skin healing properties. I mean, aloe is just so good, obviously, for all manner of things, wounds and such. Speaking of wounds, sunburn, I'm a little bit pink today. I went out in the sun. There's a little bit of a kind of a mystery unfolding where I live at the moment. There's a 72 year old man named Angelo Scardamaglia. I think that's how you say his name. And he's missing. He's been missing since Saturday, 2.30. It's now Tuesday night. So it's, it's sort of pretty scary to think that he's out there. He's got no food, no water, no money. Um, no shelter I don't we don't know where he's been staying if he's still alive I mean it's very sort of yeah scary so today I was out looking searching local parks and things and uh, got myself a little bit of sun kissed <laughs> and uh, a little bit pinkish nothing too dramatic but yeah aloe vera is good for sunburn Scarring as well, so where I have X breakouts, I get this kind of um, pigmentation on my skin. And in a previous video, you would have seen that I had some significant pigmentation here, which is reducing. And so aloe vera reduces the skin scarring as well. So I like to put it on when I sort of have the odd blemish heal, get rid of. Obviously wrinkles, it's anti-wrinkle. I don't know who doesn't love everything anti-wrinkle. You can probably hear my boy speaking. He's playing games online with friends. It's particularly good for neck and decolletage because these parts of our body are neglected and they show age quite a lot, especially the part in between the female cleavage, sort of in between the cleavage and the neck, it gets a bit um, kind of crepe papery. And what I like to do is put it on and then let it sit for about an hour. It sort of solidifies, it doesn't go like super hardened or peel off, but it just becomes less tacky. And the thinner the layer, the easier it is for it to dry on your skin. Some people do wear aloe vera masks at night time. Another beauty about aloe vera masks is you can use it around your eyes. A lot of other masks you can't and you still want to be able to reduce the fine lines and things that are going on over here as well so yeah it's healing it's anti-aging it's cleansing it's refreshing it's just so so beautiful on your skin so if you haven't tried a gel mask before I definitely recommend you give it a go it's one of my favourite masks, mainly because I have oily skin and pimples. So clay masks are good as well for nourishing the skin and removing impurities. But the gel mask is good for anti-wrinkles, healing, blemishes, scars, things like that. And of course, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. Love to hear from you. And thank you for watching. <laughs>